In this video, we're going to be covering key things that you need to know about the CA125 blood test, including what it is, how it's used and when it's requested, as well as what the result might mean. But before we start, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for weekly medical education videos. So let's start off this video by discussing what CA125 is. Well, CA125 is a protein often found on the surface of ovarian cancer cells and also in some normal tissues. Because of this, it's typically used as a marker for ovarian cancer. However, it's important to note that CA125 levels may also be high in other types of non-cancerous conditions. These include menstruation, pregnancy, and pelvic inflammatory disease. So now that we understand a little bit more about what CA125 is, well, how is it used? So CA125 can be used to detect ovarian cancer and also to monitor therapy during treatment for ovarian cancer. CA125 is also used to detect whether the cancer has come back after treatment is complete. So this test can also be used to follow up women who are at high risk because they have a family history of ovarian cancer, but do not yet have the disease. CA125 is also recommended together with pelvic ultrasound in women aged 50 years or over who've got persistent, continuous or worsening unexplained tummy pain as well as bloating, feeling full and or loss of appetite or problems with urination and in whom a doctor is concerned about a possible ovarian cancer after examining the tummy. For more information on ovarian cancer, I've included a link in the description box of this video where you can read more about the signs, symptoms and what you need to do if you think that you may have this. Please remember if you've got any concerns after watching this video to consult your own medical professional as this is a medical education video and not a clinical advice platform. So what might the result mean? Well, in women without a diagnosis of ovarian cancer, a raised CA125 may indicate the need for an ultrasound of the abdomen and pelvis. A CA125 result that is higher than normal doesn't always mean that a patient has ovarian cancer. CA125 can be high in many normal or benign conditions, for example, pregnancy, menstruation, uterine fibroids, as well as endometriosis and pelvic inflammatory disease. However, it can be raised in ovarian cancer, and so this is why it's important that this is checked and ruled in or out. A CA125 isn't accurate enough to use for ovarian cancer screening in the general population because, as we've already mentioned, many non-cancerous conditions can result in an elevated CA125. Now, if the CA125 levels fall during therapy for, or treatment for ovarian cancer, this generally indicates that the cancer is responding to treatment. However, if CA125 levels rise, then the cancer obviously may not be responding to treatment. However, again, this is a clinical picture and your doctor is going to take into account many factors when evaluating the situation. Now, a commonly asked question is, is CA125 always increased in ovarian cancer? And the answer is no. Not all ovarian cancers have got increased levels of CA125. However, elevated levels have been found in about 80% of women with ovarian cancer. So that does bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos, as well as liking the video and leaving me a comment in the comments section. I do try to reply to all comments where possible. However, I'm not able to give individual medical advice. Now, I've also included some useful references and extra reading links in the description box below, as well as a disclaimer, since please do remember, this is a medical education channel, not an individual clinical advice platform. I therefore can't give any individual interpretation of results. If you are concerned, please do speak to your own healthcare provider. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, bye.